Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Sorry I'm a little bit late with uploading your video guys, I had an extraordinarily busy February with the website which was wonderful, I'm hoping it's repeated again this month, should be, it's always busy on the website, always, always busy, there's lots of readings that come through every single week, every single day, but February was kind of off the chain, <laughs> which was lovely, um, but yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who's bought a reading, uh, everyone that comes for advice through the tarot. I really, really enjoy running this business. It's my life. Love it very, very much so. And I uh, feel very blessed right now by the universe. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed, who's got me to over 11,000 subscribers. Um, I am going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 15,000 subscribers. It will be some free readings that I will be going out. Um, and a thanks to everyone who shared the videos as well. I, I am really, really appreciative, Virgo. And Virgo, um, I think besides all of the signs are my favourites, but besides uh, Scorpio, I think Virgo are my second um, most supportive um, people on this channel. I think you view my videos the most alongside Scorpio. So, uh, Virgo, I love you dearly and thank you. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me as well, all the details are in the description bar below. Let me just take my card again off because I'm a bit warm. Um, I keep running from warm to cold um, in here. I'm working in my bedroom in a minute. Sorry if it looks a little bit chocker block. I'll be moving out soon, you see, so I'm trying. I'm trying to sort a load of stuff out. Um, so your reading is interesting and uh, as a reader I especially when I'm doing the general readings there's lots of things that I pick up now you I it used to be that I did the read the reading as one kind of linear story which is fine um, but now I can just see so many different things that are running through um, the story uh, even now as I look at the cards it's interesting I feel that uh, at the end of March there's going to be a, something to really celebrate for you Virgos okay because um, we do have the three of cups showing up here as your advice card now the three of cups is about celebration it's about joy it can also be about dancing girls okay so sometimes I'll have had somebody come to me and say you know it's blah blah I'm wondering what my ex is up to or you know, it's blah, blah, being faithful to me and stuff. And you can bet your bottom dollar, if this shows up in external influences, then this is something that's going on. External influences in a Celtic cross will be things that are going on that the client doesn't actually know about or they're not really aware of, but it's stuff that's going off on around them that's linked to them. And if a client came to me and they said, is there, you know, I'm wondering if my partner is playing away or something like that, this wouldn't be proof enough to say that somebody was playing away but it would be sure as hell proof enough to say that we're probably having a good time with a group of girls or something i've seen this turn up so many times with that uh in what capacity i don't know i mean it doesn't have to be sexual it can just be sort of flirting that type of thing it's the card of flirting three of cups is it's the card of uh lots of communication lots of joy if you get say this and the king of wands that can be real kind of uh flirting sexual flirtatious energy going on um so I feel that you're going to be celebrating. You're going to have something in general to celebrate at the end of the month. Okay, this can also, as I've said, mean dancing girls. But we'll come back to that in a way in a minute as well. What interested me about your overall energy, Virgo, was that we have uh, the Empress and the Three of Swords. Sorry, the Six of Swords. Apologies. Now, when I looked at those two cards, I was like, what? do these two cards have in common because your general energy when I look at a general energy now I have to look at what those cards potentially have in common uh, and if I'm really not sure then I pull a clarification card so I pulled a clarification card for this and I came up with the five of wands now what does the five of wands the empress and the six of swords have in common well to me they all indicate frustration all right they all indicate frustration because the empress is a card about mothering she's so she's a pregnant lady usually which references a mother she is a nurturer a carer a caretaker of the land she likes to take care of things she likes to nurture them grow them so it's a card about growth because it's a number three expansion it's a card about manifestation so manifesting manifesting our highest ideals so it's a card about giving birth to new ideas except that she never really i mean it's funny because she does give birth 
But then she's still pregnant on the picture, which is kind of a contradiction. The card is about wealth, abundance, comfort, because if you look at what she sat on, she sat on a very comfortable chair, cushions. It's a card about beauty. It's a card about being attractive. It's all of those things is the Empress. If you were to come to me and say, how does my boyfriend feel about me? And that Empress card turned up, uh, turned up it could be that he feels that you're a real nurturing loving beautiful woman or it could mean that you're overbearing and you're too nurturing but then I look at the six of swords and I think okay this is a card about having challenges and trying to move from them through them now the six of swords in my belief as a reader uh, I feel that that card isn't that you've overcome any challenges at all they're still in the boat it's a card about trying to work through something you're not yet there but you're trying to work through it just as the Empress is trying to give birth to something, but she's not yet there. So what does it mean that when we're trying to work through something and we're not yet there? Sometimes we want to be there and sometimes that can really start getting like, fuck, when is this going to ever work out? When is When am I ever going to get to the end of this trial? When am I ever going to realise what I want to realise? And So to me, those two cards signify trying to get somewhere, trying to get something manifested, trying to overcome something. And so I drew a, a middle, another card just to sum both cards up. And the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands came up. And for me, this represented frustration. So I do feel the general energy for some of you Virgos during the month of uh, March is going to be a frustrating situation. Uh, this could be you or it could be somebody around you that's feeling this. Uh, we have the Tower as the first card to show along with the Knight of Swords. Now, I don't just, you know, when you read cards, the important thing when you're reading cards is, number one, you've got to know what the general meanings are of the cards because you can't just pick up a tarot card. Some people might do it that way, but I don't know many readers that don't know the general meanings of the cards. So for every card, you've got to know generally what it means because that's how you're going to start building your story, okay? When you know the rules, you can then break them. Okay, as Bert Bacharach said about songwriting. So when you know how to construct a song, when you know how to read the music, when you know how to develop the notes and the uh, tune and all the rest of it that goes with songwriting, then you can break it and you can start branching out and adding colours here, there and everything. It's the same thing as tarot reading and anything else in life. But for the tarot, for me, you know the rules and you can break it. What I mean by breaking the rules is you don't have to stay with the standard meaning of the cards because if you were to read the cards and look at every card, in its standard meaning it would mean nothing when you come to trying to explain a reading because the whole point of a reading is is that it blends each card blends into the other card so you've got to look at how things work out let me just turn this heating up it's getting a bit warm now so the tower is a card about uh, a structure that breaks down but it's a structure that was never solid in the first place so at some point in time, this structure or whatever it is that you have built up will come falling because it was built on sand rather than, you know, strong foundations. It was just, it was going to sink anyway. We also have the Knight of Swords showing next door to it, as I mentioned. Now, what's interesting to me is the way that the Knight of Swords pursues this tower. Can you see how he's running? Now, whenever I see the Knight of Swords running, towards something it suggests that somebody's running either to hurt something or save it the knight of swords is your classic buddy boy in the tarot okay uh, he'll often show up when somebody's being quite aggressive or when somebody's being nasty or when somebody's not being uh, very kind however the knight of swords also shows up as a reaction i see it as a reactionary card okay so i've seen this card turn up when somebody has tried to leave Say you get the Eight of Cups, then you get the Knight of Swords facing the Eight of Cups. It means somebody's trying to stop you from leaving. I've seen that happen in the cards. And I feel that this Knight of Swords is someone or an energy that is trying to stop the falling. Okay, they're trying to stop something from falling down. Okay, because they think it's worth saving as far as I'm concerned. So I feel that this could be somebody who's external to you, Virgo. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual. It could be a very good friend. Or it could simply be your brain, okay? Because the Knight of Swords, if it's not a person, it obviously it works as with all, all of the tarot or the court cards. If it's not a person, then it works as an energy. And the Knight of Swords in terms of energy is about courage, it's about bravery, it's about taking a risk. Uh, 
it's about doing the right thing it's about being um a go-getter it's about someone who is um very confident very astute they know what they want and they're going to go after it. it's about going for it this is the going for it card okay so i feel that well and i feel this is you guys in part it can be a person externally but i do feel that this is you guys okay i feel that there is a frustrating situation here and something looks like it's not happening at the moment in the month of march but i feel that uh, you know it could be something where a boy's you know you're racing against the clock virgo to stop something from happening so whether that's a foreclosure on a house um whether that's a marriage that's breaking down something needs to be saved here because i think i feel that you you think it's worth saving but i feel that there's hard work involved in this because we do have the eight of pentacles showing up here okay so it's something that you may have been working hard really hard for okay it's something that you've like really plodded along when you look at the eight of pentacles it's often you know if you were to look at it in its general meaning it's about working in a job it could be a new job an apprenticeship learning um it's often about learning new skills or applying your skills to a new job that type of thing it's often the card of studying education you know going to college it's a card of the student it's a card of the novice really in a lot of ways but it's also a card of working and working hard to achieve a goal but this guy is just banging out pentacles and he's not really getting anywhere which is why as an energy this can literally be that you're consistently doing something over and over and over again and it could literally be with the tower that you've had enough and you kind of explode on that and it's kind of like you know what? i'm really sick and tired of doing this and it's getting to the point now where there are just like tears or there are it's just kind of an epiphany of like i don't want to do this anymore i'm so tired of it i'm doing it over and over and over again and we do see this as well in a far more kind of placid diplomatic way in the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles is often a card of, a, of evaluation so you're evaluating a situation here you're looking at the pentacles and you can see that something has been built up here with the six pentacles on the on the bush but there's a pentacle left over here and this person is trying to think to themselves do i invest any more into this project or do i put this somewhere else okay is it worth investing any more okay so we've got to look at this seven of pentacles i feel as a card of self-worth as well is something worth investing in because if something was going very very well with that seven of pentacles and why on earth is this person evaluating whether they want to put this last person pentacle into onto the bush if it's going so well why don't they just put that pentacle onto it they don't they need to evaluate and take time it's, this card really the seven of pentacles is a card about coming towards a coming in, uh, towards a crossroads you're in a crossroads you're in a crossfire you're kind of like i don't know which direction to take now whether i want to continue building this or just look at a completely different avenue altogether and that's why you've got the eight of pentacles because this person's been working tirelessly to make something happen but it's probably not happening which is why you have the tower card the explosion of emotion the anger the upset which is why we're seeing the frustration as the general energy in the month of um in the month of march and there is a lot of evaluation here after that kind of epiphany where you say i don't know whether i want to go for it however you do i feel uh with the knight of swords decide to go for it because the knight of swords charges towards the tower where it tries to halt the breakdown because it's something that's worth fighting for so i feel within the month of uh march you guys have something that's worth fighting for but it almost feels like it's make or break time okay there are the tears with the, the tower card now the tower card you know <sighs> I've experienced the tower card and I always speak about the tower card because it is probably my most feared and most favorite card in the tarot. I, I have a, a very strong love and hate relationship with the tower card because I know the magnitude of this card and I know that if you get it in a personal reading and even in a general reading I've seen this come up okay and it can last with you for a lifetime. It, the power of that tower card can last for years, it can last for months its power is to me the strongest power within the tarot okay along with other cards such as the five of cups and the three of swords now i know a lot of people think well those are all negative cards but i feel that they're not negative cards i feel that these cards start off being negative but then the beauty of them comes out after the aftermath so the tower card is all about the breakdown of something we've invested in okay you've invested heavily in something you thought it was a surefire bet and sometimes the tower card can come in um, as a surprise that says this thing that you banked on honey it's no shellfire bread 
it's fucked you over because it was built on something that was either an illusion or it just wasn't rock solid or honest enough to begin with. So this is the card of honesty. This is why I like the tower card. I hate it because it brings up uncomfortable feelings and uncomfortable situations a lot of the time. But then I love it because afterwards you can see why you had to go through all of that pain. Okay. And it's the same with the Empress card in a way. She's waiting for the manifestation of this thing. But once she gives birth to it, once it happens, she'll see the beauty of it. She'll see the beauty of why she went through it. And it could be like that with the um, Empress and the Six of Swords as your general energy. Okay, once this is over the frustration and you've given birth, the Six of Swords could literally be whereby you're, work, walk, you're sailing towards smoother uh, waters just like after birth after childbirth it's painful it's difficult but afterwards you've delivered it this could be for example the father taking mother and baby home if that makes any sense to you so I do feel uh, yeah for some of you guys a celebration could literally be around a childbirth <laughs> if you want to look at it in those terms um, within the within the um, month of March but I feel that this is more to do with trying to save something that is worth fighting for okay um, there is some anxiety here as well around this thing because we've got the Nine of Swords here showing up. It's a card of anxiety, can be depression, can be sleepless nights, but also this is a card of the, this too shall pass. It won't last. The Nine of Swords doesn't last. After the anxiety and the fear and the hopelessness does come uh, a lot of hope, okay, within the situation. So there is fear around whatever this is that you are thinking to yourself is it worth me investing in this this could be a relationship because we do have the two of cups showing up here okay um and it's funny because we have temperance as well showing up underneath that two of cups which tells me that whatever this situation is i feel that there will be a resolution to it if it's a relationship that uh has been going wrong potentially for some of you virgos i feel that there'll be somebody who's working towards saving it and it could be this knight of swords person it doesn't have to be gemini libra aquarius it can be but it can also be someone who's kind of had a about turn and they want to come back and they want to try and save something here okay we also have the chariot card showing up this can be the card of a conflicting emotions okay uh, when you get um, cards like the chariot and then you've got cards like the seven of cups and the seven of wands um, and the seven of swords all of those cards are really to do with trying to find a solution to a problem so having to um, be rather intelligent, be rather savvy, and also have a lot of confidence in oneself to move forward and to solve any conflicts in one's life. So the Seven of Swords is about a guy who needs to find a way to nick off with five swords out of seven swords. And he does it. Okay, sometimes the Seven of Swords can represent just a bare-faced liar because the person is doing something in front of everybody's face and he's trying to make it look like it's normal, okay? So that's another solution to a problem. Somebody wants to get away with a lie, well, why, how do you get away with a lie? You become a bare-faced liar and you just put on this front whereby it says, you know what, everything's a okay. Same as Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is literally a card about... Uh, a guy, <laughs> another guy who is holding his own. He's got this... Uh, wand and he's holding it up and there are six pointing wands at him and they're all wagging their fingers like this and he knows that he's on shaky ground like this he's like shit I'm on shaky ground but then he's like holding his like fuck you I'm not afraid of you yeah I'm holding my one come on get it he's holding this one like he's trying saying to the seven the six ones if you know if you're following me on this he's saying to the six ones come and get it I ain't afraid of you bastards come on he's holding this wand up but inside he's he's afraid he's shaking he's scared so again, it's another card about trying to find solution to a problem, but it's also a card about putting on a front at the same time. That's what I found with the sevens. The seven of cups is a card about trying to make choices, okay? So all of these cards have conflicting energies within them, and it's no different for the chariot. This is someone who's trying to steer themselves in the correct path, okay? They're trying to move forward with something, okay, with that chariot. And it's also the card with uh, steering yourself in one direction, okay? So you've got two directions that you can go in, but that you know that if you let these two things take control, they're going to end up pulling you apart. 
So what you need to do is you need to steer these two things, these two sphinxes into line. You need to get them into line and you just you need to kind of say that I'm in control. So the sevens for me, when I look at them, it's about trying to uh, rein in some control. It's about being in control, okay? And I feel in a way that this is what these twos are about, the two of cups and also the temperance card. For some of you guys, it could be the reconciliation of a relationship, okay? So getting your relationships back in control. And I feel that this could be what it's about for some of this reading as well. Getting relationships back in control. Because when you see these two cards together, Virgo, they can often represent a reconciliation of a relationship. And with this Knight of Swords charging towards the tower, the tower can be a relationship that is about to fall apart. A relationship that does fall apart. But somebody is rushing in to save it. Okay, so literally I feel that for some of you guys in the month of March, it could be somebody or it could be you who is rushing in to try and save a relationship and that's where you get the reconciliation. The chariot is harnessing in the conflicting energies and after you've harnessed in those conflicting energies, what you get is the two of cups and the temperance card, reconciliation, renewal of a relationship. There is worry around this along with the chariot, it's underneath the chariot card. So you're worrying about these conflicting energies. How do I bring things back together? How do I solve this issue? For some of you guys, it might literally be that you've been banging your head against a brick wall with a relationship. And you're trying to figure out, do I invest any more in this relationship or do I move on? Well, I feel that you're going to be investing for some of you guys in a relationship again, especially one that doesn't seem to be working out. You think that you're going to be working through your problems. Because as I said, we do have that six of cups as your general advice card which says that there is acceleration and whenever you get that three of cups and the two of cups in a reading together I did a reading on someone the other day um, and she wanted to know if her and her boyfriend would get back together um, and I did the reading and in the outcome position showed three of cups two of cups and that showed me there was a reconciliation on the cards and it also showed the king of pentacles which is a faithful boyfriend or a faithful partner so uh, two of cups and three of cups for me definitely means reconciliation and it was proof in the pudding because it happened and she let me know that it happened the boyfriend returned home and everything was good and those cards have shown up before so i know that definitely these two for me represent reconciliation along with the temperance card surefire bet so i do feel that if you're working towards getting a relationship back on track virgo it will be back on track by the end of March. That's what I believe. And because we've got the, I feel that the uh, general energy of the Empress, the Six of Swords and the Five of Wands is the frustration in trying to get this relationship back together. Because I'm looking at the Tower and the Knight of Swords and it's two very frustrating energies there. The Knight of Swords looks frustrated. He knows what he, knows what he wants, but he's trying to save something. And the Tower is a frustrating situation as well. For some of you guys, it could literally be that you're waiting for money or you're waiting for um, something that you've put a lot of work in to reap the rewards because the work is being put in with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of uh, Pentacles is where you're looking for the reward. And it could literally be that maybe for some of you guys, you're feeling like giving up on something here. So whether that be, um, you know, education, whether it be... Um, something to do with a job maybe that you'll you just feel this going nowhere potentially i feel that uh, you're not going to be giving up so easily this is what i'm feeling here i do feel that if you're waiting for money to come in potentially you've been working towards something it will be happening so maybe for some of you guys you're looking for a pay rise that type of thing i feel that if you've been ill or you've had any type of illness because the nine of swords can often reference an illness then there will be time for healing and you're going to be overcoming this it could be, I'm just getting for some of you guys, you might have been ill for some time and it's becoming a really frustrating situation because you want to get better. I'm getting with the Empress card as the general energy as somebody who's been sat at home. They're in a lot of comfort and stuff, but they're wanting to get better with this Six of Swords, okay? And you're going to be on the, um, I feel that you're going to be on a journey of getting better and I feel that's reflected within the Temperance card after the Nine of Swords card, Okay. So I feel that if you have been feeling quite ill, uh, I feel that you're going to be getting better. I feel for some of you guys, if you are in a relationship um, that is going good, you're going to be going from strength to strength. Because sometimes the chariot can, card can often mean strength. And it can often mean moving forward in a very, very um, strong and a very, very confident way. And the two of cups 
is the relationship so i feel that for some of you guys you're going to be moving forward with a relationship i am uh, very in a very strong very um assured way i also feel that for some of you guys i am sensing that there is an engagement on the cards here okay or there is an exchange of vows because to me the temperance card looks like an exchange of vows card as well along with that two of cups and that cup, that card there being the celebration card um I feel for some of you guys it could literally be as well you might be worried about a player or somebody who um you feel that you want to commit to you but isn't committing fast enough because the chariot card is often the card about a guy who takes the piss he's got a couple of girls there that he has control over women okay and he's he knows that he's in charge he's a very confident very sexy type of guy and women turn to flock to him and i feel with this nine of swords underneath you could literally be worried about somebody in your life like that and it could be that you're wanting some form of a commitment here uh, but i feel that if that's the case this person potentially does give you a commitment because we do have that temperance card so there are lots of things here that i feel that might be frustrating some of you virgos through the month of march but i don't feel that you should worry about it too much because i really do believe that it's going to turn out really well because we've got the saving grace of the three of cups the celebration card okay um yeah I feel I feel that it's going to be a good month for you. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I can mop up on this reading here at all. Um, just bear with me one moment. I feel some of you guys are going to be asked out for a date. And you might be worrying about what to wear. I know it sounds crazy. But I'm looking at that chariot guy, the sexy guy there. And he looks like he's asked somebody out for a date. And you've got the two of cups there. Okay. And then the nine of swords so i feel that it could even be something as mundane as worrying about what to wear or worrying whether you're going to be good enough for this person that type of thing and the temperance card really is a card about getting yourself back into balance so i feel that this reading is about frustrating situations but i feel that it's nothing that can't be solved for the month of march and i see that because of the two of cups and that temperance card as well things are literally brought back into balance everything else looks like worry and it looks like evaluation and it looks like decision making but these two cards really speak to me when they say that things are being brought back into balance for you okay whether that's in a relationship or whether that's something to do with a home or work or whatever the situation might be we do have the three of cups as your advice card so it'll be time to celebrate i believe by the end of march going into april that's your reading uh, virgo i'd like to say thank you so much for joining me on carol's universe and i will speak to you guys real soon Take care. Bye-bye.